Medieval times in Lyndhurst could feature a first, a labor union for squires, knights, and royalty. I feel like it would help us as far as that we'll give it our voice. We're not here to be part of some nefarious scheme to try and get our company in trouble. We're trying to collaborate with each other, mostly with, our, with each other and with the company as well, to make our job a better work environment. Having a union will give us uh, a voice, more of a voice, seat at the table. Um, we can negotiate a living wage. Um, we can address a lot of problems that haven't been addressed by uh, the company by holding them accountable. Um, it'll just give us, in general, a better quality of life. Employees are voting to organize as part of the American Guild of Variety Artists, the same union that represents the Rockettes and workers at Disneyland. Workers at Medieval Times say the push to organize started last Christmas. People were asking for raises because inflation had been going up, and it's like, we need to make at least like $1.70 more in order to not theoretically take a pay cut. It's really hard, like, living with um, the low compensation that they give us in a state like New Jersey. And personally, for me, there's been more than one occasion where I've had to choose who's going to eat this week, me or me or my dog. And of course, it's her every time. I have three other roommates, so four of us in one apartment. They're also concerned about guests acting inappropriately and putting performers in harm's way. They say management didn't make enough effort to help employees. Anytime we bring up something like, hey, we should be being paid similarly to other people in our industry, or hey, you know, people are grabbing and touching the queens and it's uncomfortable, um, and yet we're gaslit or told that's just live theater, you know, this is just the way it is. We had a lot of nights that used to yell at guest members a lot to try to get them to stop because we just couldn't rely on our event staff or even our managers to do anything. Uh, they would just make excuses for them or heck we'd hear rumors about, you know, that rowdy crowd member, yeah, they got compensated tickets and so apparently they're coming back again. It's demoralizing. For stable hands, they're concerned that poor working conditions could make their jobs more dangerous. If we're, you know, constantly belittled, uh, underpaid, overworked, um, we can make mistakes um, that will lead to us getting hurt, the horses getting hurt or sick or injured. Um, so with a union that can kind of, um, you know, keep us paid, um, keep our hours reasonable and consistent, um, we'll be able to then better care for the horses and have less of a chance of us getting seriously injured. Medieval Times did not comment for this story. Workers say they've seen some progress over the last few months, but only after they publicly expressed interest in forming a union. They're asking for more officers now to, to come and, and uh, be at the more rowdy shows like on Saturday. And the, the stage that the queens and the actors are on has now been closed off completely to the audience, which were things that were asked for but never put into action. It took the filing of this to kind of get the ball rolling of how they wanted to like listen all of a sudden. Before that, it, it was always like this. They never really like listened to what was being said. William Brucher is an assistant teaching professor at Rutgers. He says if the vote is successful, workers might have the upper hand when it comes to negotiating a contract. Let's face it, there's no medieval time show without these performers, without these stunt performers, without these actors. Um, they have, they potentially have a fair bit of leverage to gain a contract that begins to address the issues that they want to address. These workers will cast their ballots on July 15th. In Lyndhurst, I'm Ted Goldberg, NJ Spotlight News.